Hello, welcome to your 32nd C++ lesson, and in this lesson we're just going to go over string manipulation. So, let's just go basic program setup. We're going to include iostream, we're going to include conio.h, and we're going to include string. Now, we're also going to use namespace standard, and in our main function, oop, we're going to get a character and return zero. Okay, so the first method of string manipulation we're going to use is simply using add to stick strings together. So let's make our first string variable, and we can call this string1. And I'm going to set it to this is a. And we have string2, and it's going to be full sentence. Also, we're going to make a string3, and this is going to be these two together. So all we have to do is type string1, add string2. String3 now equals this is a full sentence. And just to prove this, we're going to see out string3. So let's just hit debug. And there we go, this is a full sentence. Okay, so our second method is going to be using dot length. So for example, to have a string, let's just call it a string. Equals Bill and Bob, and all we're going to do is going to find how many characters, characters, characters are in Bill and Bob. So let's just count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten characters, but most of the time we don't want to go counting these. So what we can do is we can just see out, or you can set an integer variable to this, and it's going to string dot length. So that should output 10 as we've counted it. And there we go, 10. Now the next thing is treating strings like char arrays. So for example, if we wanted to output this capital A over here, because it's like an array, B would be 0, I would be 1, L would be 2, L would be 3, and A would be 4. So we're just going to see out string 4. This should just output that capital A there. There we go, capital A. The next thing is using the substring the string function. So we're just going to stay with this string string. And we're just going to go string dot. And then we're going to put the name of our function, substring, or substr. And basically the first thing is where you want to start subdividing the string. So let's just say I wanted to output bill. We want to start at 0, and we want to go up, well, let's just see, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to go up 4. Now, this doesn't mean go to 4, this means go up 4. So, string dot substring, just see out. Uh, so, that should just output bill. And there we go, bill. Now, the next thing is, a lot of the time you're going to want to erase bits and string. So if I wanted to erase Bill, so it just says and Bob, I could use, instead of using sub str or substring, we can use this erase function. And it works exactly the same um, as for the parameters for the substring. So this just means start at 0, go all the way up to 4. So that should just delete Bill out of our string. So let's just say string dot erase 0, 4. See out string. And let's hit the bug. And there we go. Now the string simply says and Bob. Now the last thing is sometimes you're gonna to need to insert bits into strings. So let's just say um hell or no, let's say hello. Oh no, they haven't typed the E. So how are we gonna insert it for them? What we're gonna do is we're gonna say string dot insert. Now the position, so 0, 1, we want it just before element 1, so we're going to type 1, and then the letter you want to insert, so I'm going to do an E, so now, if we see out string, it should see out hello, and there we go, hello, as we'd expect, so they're the basic forms of string manipulation, it's really useful when working with strings in programs, and obviously you can use cint to get strings from the user, and then manipulate these strings using these methods, as you wish. So that's the end of the lesson. Have fun with it and have a nice day.